Hi guys, it's Kim. I'm back with the September portion of the event calendar that we've been working on. I had started to do this on a prior video. I had to start all over because I just wasn't happy with the way things were stamped and I had to go cut some more cardstock out because I was getting this little thing right there. So I, I'm going to tell you what I've done so far. I cut a piece of outdoor denim out at three and a half by three and a half for that upper square. Then I took this little um, distressing tool from close to my heart and I went around the edges of that piece of cardstock and just distressed the edges so you get that white uh, core coming out kind of looks like a torn pair of jeans with this outdoor denim so I kind of like that I just wanted a new a different look from all my other pages that I was getting that kind of makes a mess on your work surface though so Anyway, I did that. I cut out a piece from the Scholastic paper that's um, available right now. Cut that at 3x3. Three three. That's going to go on top of that outdoor denim. I had priorly stamped and colored my ribbon out just on some cardstock and colored it, cut it, fussy cut it out, and I liquid glassed the number one so that kind of pops out and makes it a little bit shiny. I don't know if you can see that or not. I took a piece of cashmere cardstock and I cut that at, I can't remember now, I think three, three and a quarter by about a half or so. And I stamped the sentiment that we're using for this month is Believe to Achieve on your stamp set. And I'm going to put that up here, I think. Let me see how I want this to go. Put that across there. I'm going to put my little ribbon. And then I found this little apple brad in my stash of brads. So I'm going to put that somewhere. Maybe I'll put two. I have two. Maybe I'll put two right there. Okay. So let's put that all down. And I, you know, I'm thinking I'm going to do something on this little thing here, too. Let's see what kind of pins have here. How would that look? What color? Let me see how that color will look. I'm just going to make some little dash marks. I want to see what it might look like on there. That kind of, it's kind of a blue. I kind of like that. I'll do that. But I'm not very straight at making these, so let me get a ruler here. I'm just going to make some dash marks around this guy. Some people are really good at doing this straight, and I'm not one of those, so I will cheat and use a ruler to do it. That's a gel pen, so I'm hoping it doesn't smear as I put my ruler on top of it again. At the angle I'm at, I'm, I think I'm making marks. I can't really see. So, yeah, I made marks. Okay. So, it doesn't look like it's smeared. I'm going to let that kind of dry. That looks a lot better than it did, I think, with nothing on it, though. Kind of makes it pop. So, okay, so let's put this down. This is going to be a quick and easy one here. I was thinking about putting those brads on first, but I'll put them on second. It's no big deal. And I'm going to put it so my eight is going up, I guess, to the top. Again, find whatever paper that suits you and do whatever you think looks good. And I now have five of these left. I had an order placed today. Thank you to Kim for placing her order with me. And I will get your stamp sent out tomorrow. So, there's five left. And I'm going to use my little sticky dot things. Just because they're working really good, good to stick little things down with on these 
And again, this is Thermo Dot, Thermo Web Dot, I think it's called. You can buy it at Michael's. I did not know that, and I bought it online and probably paid too much shipping and everything else for it, but oh well. Live and learn, right? I'm going to make some holes for some brads. I think I'll put one. Should I put them side by side or should I put them going up and down? Let's look here. I think I'll put them going up and down. So I think I'll put one about there, come straight down, and put one about there. I don't even know where I got these. These are just, I've had them forever in my little bread box. And I was looking for things to use on this, and I thought, oh, that'll work. And then on the bottom, I also had some stars. I'm going to put that on the, going across the bottom. Okay, so there's my top. Let's straighten that guy out a little bit. There's my top. For my bottom. Put that down. I'm trying to keep these short and sweet and to the point. Just decorate it. Just do it. Might seem like overwhelming big old project, but if you just break it down a month at a time, then you'll get it done. I'm gonna cut that little edge off. Sticking out just a little bit right there. There we go. Okay. And then I'm gonna put my three little stars going across. I'll try to, I'm just going to eyeball it, hope I get them fairly even. We'll just go one there, one about in the middle, and then one to that edge. That's not super spaced perfectly, but no, it's okay. Gives it something there. I didn't really have anything else to put there, so I needed something. I thought. Can't get in there, Booker. Okay. And the red one. Those did not want to go through that itty bitty hole. But I won. Okay. Oh, those are not perfectly straight, but that's okay. Alright, so let's put this down on our September page. And then we have October. November and December. That didn't give me any glue. Oh, what's going on with my ATG guns being a booger now? So. Put that going this way. With those brads, it's kind of up a little bit. So yeah, try to keep your embellishments to a minimum so it's not making it really thick. So far mine's laying down pretty nice, so I'm not too worried about it. I don't only have three more months of it to go to make, so we should be fine. And there is the three and a half by three and a half piece. It goes right down there. And there you have September. All done. There you go. September top half and September bottom half. 
So hope you enjoyed that and hope to see you for October. I'm going to try to get it in tonight. Thanks. Bye-bye.